Hey guys, Justin here. I'm in Red Cliff right now and begin our Red Cliff route featuring. We'll do three of them. We'll start with 291. And later on, we'll do 292 and 293. And oh my gosh, there are ads on this bus, huh? Okay, let's just sit here. <laughs> there are ads at the back. It blocks off the window. That's right. Red Cliff to Midland. There are two routes here, 290 and 291. They're operating in 30 minutes per bus for each route. So one hour per bus for the route and then half an hour per 290 and the next one 291. They take a different path. 290 takes the same path as 36. Before, after it turns back out to Great Eastern Highway, it takes the same path as pass through Great Eastern Highway. And it goes to Guildford near Guildford and takes the tracks near Woodbridge and then Midland. This route takes differently, it takes Kalamunda Road and uh, Great Eastern Highway bypass later on and then pass through South Guildford inside some of the areas maybe like 304, the 304 spot and then takes that path up to Midland. I actually didn't prep the map, I should have prepped the map, that's alright. We got another stupid section over there, it's a perf again for Claremont. No trains will terminate at Perth. Last time we saw a freaking probably glitched up or some, some stupid things for that Perth E pattern that I saw at High Wycombe. Here we go. We're on bus to 2600. There's another stop already just basically out here. They have to actually have this stop because this stop originally was stopped and served by 40. So that's why every route will stop there. But yeah, that's one of the stops for route 40 from before. So that's why every route was stopped there as well. We'll go back out to Great Eastern Highway. We'll take a little bit same as a bit same path as uh, and two nine zero for a little bit before it splits up. Before it splits up at Guildford. After I wait for a round, the uh, two nine two driver is still driving the two nine two. So that's why the next video will be two nine two. So that's why we we'll tomorrow and we we'll do two nine two and two nine three, which tomorrow will be the last day for uh, premieres. We'll do a live stream before I leave in on the train main channel. Fortunately, the lab, the webcam is. I don't think it will be workable anymore on my pad, on my on my computer. So that's why probably it will be another phone live stream. Not probably. It will be another phone live stream. You see some NH buses inside. In the depot over there, there should be like four of them. <laughs> Always lined up at the front of there. Three plus one. Three is normal, and one is a training bus. There they are over there. Hopefully I can get the numbers this time that I can tell you guys what they are. There they are. Annex buses. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. Really hard to see actually. There's the NH buses. Very cool buses. 1319 for training. 1567, 1566 and 1332. There you guys go. Quick shot. Uh, the middle one is 1566, the number is actually dimmed out. We turn right from here. And that's actually, I don't know why, there are no services for 290 on Sundays. <laughs> but there are services for 291, that's pretty dumb. Which, the more useful one is actually 290, because it, re it exactly replaces the route of 36. Re originally on, on, on Sundays, there are still services for 36. Uh, two hours per bus for Midland, but there are still services. But now without 290, they don't have services for, for Midland. For the exact same path as 36, but I guess they have this route. There's another 940. And here we go, turn up. 
I won't be doing 290 for now because it's the exact same path as 36. It just terminates at Redcliffe, which just turns in. So basically, if you take 290 and 940 together, then that's 36. Of course, you might want to actually like get off here and walk down to the stop of 940 instead of turning into Redcliffe Station, which is pretty pretty lame if you turn into Redcliffe Station. Pretty far down, so that's fine. Same path here. Take Great Eastern Highway bypass later on. Actually, pretty hungry, so I'm gonna just eat as soon as I get there. We're gonna go to a cafe that you guys have recommended. One of you guys actually have recommended on the main channel just earlier, so. It's still the same path as 290. We'll take Grady's and Highway Bypass. Originally 296 and something like that takes Alamanda Road right there. No longer have routes to serve that path. So that's why. Originally, like. 296 and 299 runs that path, and maybe also 295 and something like that. But uh, now no longer buses runs. No buses run that way. Yeah, over here, huh? All right. the same path I think for 290 return we'll at the front very soon yep 291 turn right here this is uh, originally 291 the number is originally for the route inside uh, Kalamanda but they've switched it in now they switched off the Kalamanda routes to 270 27 number so that's why they have switched it to 274 for the good old 291 and now we do 291 from here for red cliff to midland here's column on the road this is the first part of column on the road and we'll take great eastern highway bypass later on Unfortunate, cannot film any of these routes with Bendy's buses. Unfortunately, the highest chance for Bendy buses, the highest chance for Bendy buses, are, are actually for two seven five that I filmed, but uh, I missed it. So fortunate. And also two seven six. These two routes I saw mostly uses Bendy twelve. I mean B twelve Bendy's sometimes for Bendy buses. Uh, I have taken all of them, actually with this route I've concluded all of the routes I've taken every single route at Redcliffe I've taken every single route that goes to and out from Redcliffe so that's pretty good Yeah, I've taken 39, I've taken 945, I've taken 940, I've taken 290 as well and I filmed these three routes so that's fine That's all of them including 902 as well, that's also cool uh, For High Wycombe I'm still missing out 271 and 276 I've never taken But uh, eh, this is alright The other, all of the other routes I've taken, so that's why. 280, 270, 
2004, not 2004, 2005, 2007, 2008, all these have taken, 280, all of these have been taken. What the hell is this path? This path is pretty, pretty bull actually. <laughs> yeah. I'm never, t I'm not taking 273. That route is not really actually for High Wycombe. It's just this new route that I don't know why they need to do that for uh, freaking uh, just Kalamanda. But uh, hey, whatever. That route is so stupid. I've taken the path anyways in the before when I took uh, 282. The old path of 282, it loops in there. I've looped that path already, so no point of looping again. Wow, what is this path? Why is uh, this driver need to drive so slowly here? And the bus stop in the middle of nowhere. Time stop for this one? Wow, what is this driver doing here? I guess time stop. I'm actually very hungry, so we're just gonna get back, get up to mid, and I will go to that cafe in Woodbridge that uh, you guys suggested on the main channel. Which you guys should have seen that one already, which I've, I've, I've uploaded, I should have uploaded. So it's a pretty far, long walk, but I have the uh, energy to walk in there. Is this the South Guildford that the original 304 actually goes by or something like that? Luckily I didn't actually film that thing. If I filmed that thing, I'd be stuck here. <laughs> I guess I can like walk back out to Great Eastern Highway, but jeez Louise. And also why this driver needs to drive so slowly as soon as you get in here. really got someone actually waiting at the front. Waterhall Park.
Now this is definitely the longer one to Midland. You want to go faster, just take 290, but you don't really have a choice because since the 290 left, the next one will for real always be 291, so that's why. So that's why you don't really have a choice. But if you're just going to Midland, just take whatever because you don't need to wait that long. Only 291 runs here, so that's why it's pretty not that great of an area to live in without a car. Like basically, if you live in any areas, it's not really that great if you don't don't have a car. But like if you live, meh, if you count like East Victoria Park, that's all right. Uh, Bentley is all right, but but Bentley is not safe, so that's why. <laughs> Not living there. Eastwick Park is all right, not too bad, because my some of my friends actually are living there. But there is like, eh, it's like not. This is like a okay spot. It's not like the worst, but not the best. Of course, if you have the money, you can live in like Apple Cross, like a South Perth. These areas are the fancy ones. If you live in flats, or even live in the city, like East Perth, also have a lot of flats there. You can. There's somewhere, there's somewhere you can stay. And Asubiaco, those are also some fancy areas. And nice, plane coming down. What's that, airlines? Don't know that one, it's blue. Well, what is this path? Wow, this route just drives inside these stupid path. I think we were almost there. Actually, no, definitely not. 70 minutes, definitely not. No, more, not there yet, definitely. Still ways away. Let's see what this ras what this bus is gonna do. It started at Red Cliff at 291 at 000. So let's see. Because yesterday, when I filmed the highway, com not yesterday actually, the day before that, I filmed highway come rounds and I saw a 301 after doing 301 switch to 278, so that's why. Basically for the shifts and like in the Midland, I think the shift they just add in, like after you drive a few, one section suddenly, 301 please. <laughs> you drive through one after that, you just go back to normal routes. South Guildford here. Oh, we're only at South Guildford? Oh, then they're not, they're not even close. Oh, consider living on whether taking trains to, uh, to Midland or take one stop of 290. But if I get a perfect timing for a 290, then of course I would do it. Oh gosh, Jeez Louise. dumb signs upside down really can mess a lot of things up if you actually mess that up like put it up upside down is the, the arrow is pointing left is that like, oh turn left no because it's upside down so that's why you need to turn right 
<laughs> okay, we've got a farm in there. We got a pony, just one of a few over there. That's pretty cool. Those are not ponies, those are horses. Almost at Midland. Oh, there's tracks already at the front. Train tracks at the front. So we'll turn this way and we'll turn back up at uh, the other side of Midland Station. And this is where the 301 takes a loop around. If there are buses already over that way. Oh, that means the 290 is just left. <laughs> there's Midland Station. there. Very clear structure. Just turn this way and Midland Station. And made it! Enjoyed this video remember to like and subscribe click the bell so they can get notifications when i post yes oh gosh check out the links in the description down below of my other channels and my instagram click on this video up top and i'll see you guys next time peace